What's up, guys? Welcome back to Skip's Guns. So, I have something uh, interesting, maybe hopefully interesting to you guys as well. Um, I've been working a little bit more on uh, my 320 trigger kit, and I really feel like I've gotten a lot further into the process of making this one of the best 320 trigger kits that you could possibly have. So obviously everything is still in development. I'm not going to be selling this just yet, but I wanted to keep you guys updated because last night I feel like I uh, I made a big jump into getting this thing as close to a 2011 kind of trigger feel uh, that I've noticed. So it's in this kit, but what I was going to do first is I wanted to show you uh, pretty much... This is more of like an OEM setup, the FCU. Obviously, the gun isn't an OEM setup. I don't think there's anything left on this thing that could be OEM. But the only real difference with this is that I have the Tyrant trigger shoe on there. Other than that, it's a OEM sear, the OEM trigger bar, uh, two OEM springs for the sear, uh, the return spring is actually OEM, and I mean, like, basically, just the trigger shoe is different. So, this is basically just a way to show you the uh, actual movement of it. So, what we'll do here is, this is going to be without the uh, magazine in, because as we know, the SIGs, they lift up a little bit, and that does affect how the trigger pulls, but... There is the take up with this trigger shoe, and this does change the geometry a little bit. So this isn't exactly 100% the OEM way, but that's your take up. And then you hit a nice hard wall, and then you get a little bit of creep, and then a nice break. Nothing wrong with this. And honestly, I've found that the uh, P320 platform. A lot of people hate on it for uh, feeling really mushy and having a lot of creep in it and everything. It's when you're dry firing it. Yes, it does feel that way. But I will give Sig this: when you're shooting the gun, you really don't feel any of that stuff. It's a very nice trigger when you're actually shooting the gun. Dry firing and focusing on this. Yes, it does have a lot of. Uh, quirks in it compared to like the the rock solid wall and everything that a glock has or 2011 has but back to the reset now you get a little bit of creep but it really just pushes itself right back up and then you're right back on that wall nice distinct break again now that's an empty mag uh, everybody i don't want to hear anybody crying uh, um, so now with a mag in it, you still have the same distinctive wall and the break, you get a little bit of creep and then the break, the reset. It's pretty long reset, but like I said, it's, it feels nice and a quick throw of everything. Not bad, I, I will be honest. And this trigger shoe definitely does help. This is a Tyrant Designs trigger shoe. You can change out the back portion of it. You, um, they have a ton of other products that will match this too. They come in gold and black, and then the inserts come in, I believe, like five or six different colors. I highly recommend this. If you're not looking to modify anything, you just want to have something a little bit different than OEM, uh, I think this is good. And also, if you take this and then you put the Apex Trigger Kit in there, it actually does give you a very nice uh, break. So, now that we've seen what the platform is, now we'll move on to this. So, this is the X5 Legion. I have an Icarus Aluminum Lower. This does not affect anything with the FCU. We are empty. Uh, this is the armory craft adjustable trigger only because uh it is dual adjustable pre-travel and post-travel so this just helps me until i can 
uh, start TIG welding and then make everything more of a permanent fix. But I think when I do sell it, I will see if, you know, maybe Armory Craft will work with me and I can include their trigger in the kit because I do like the uh, adjustability of it. So if you don't want this to be sitting right on the wall uh, at all times, you could just back the screw off. Whereas the other one is even like the way the SIG, uh, the SIG armor does his trigger jobs. He TIG welds and it's a permanent thing. They are drop safe, everything like that, but you don't have any adjustability in it, uh, but it is an amazing trigger. So here is the take up for how I have it set up. It's nothing, you know, it's, this is on the wall already. And here is the break, the reset, and the break. So here's the reset again. And then when you let off, you can see the trigger doesn't even move. It is right on the wall. So as soon as you touch this thing, you can shoot it. There is a three pound trigger pull on here. Um, so this thing is obviously, uh, you, you can carry it, it's drop safe, but, um, you know, if you had like gloves on and you went to go in here, you could potentially end up hitting it, but it is the same thing as how I have my 2011 set up as well. Uh, you just, you have to know what you're doing. You have to be careful with it. So I want to now show you with a mag in. So obviously sitting right on the wall again and then the break. And I mean, this trigger is moving like, I mean, a, a quarter of an inch would be saying that uh, would be a lot. I would say it is, it's definitely barely moving just enough. But this thing is sweet. I mean, honestly, I can't wait to do some more shooting with this. I'll record it for you. Uh, what I am going to be doing in a video, probably in the next couple days, it will be the next one that comes out, is I'm going to put these two up against each other. This is like a kind of like a, a Frankenstein of 320s here. You have an aluminum lower and you have gas pedals and the X5 upper, a Zev barrel, all that kind of shit. And then you have a monster with the Parker Mount machine work stuff, the smaller slide for the flush fit, a fully weighted tungsten infused uh, X5 lower with the slug and the grip. You have extended controls from a, a line tactical, the tyrant trigger. I mean, really, when you're putting these things together, it, it's going to be a pretty good matchup. They both have DPM kits in them. Um, we're going to mess around with that, see what we can do. I might try to shoot like, uh, 115 grain all the way up to 150 grain and see how, uh, how they stack up against each other. Accuracy, recoil, the triggers. And then honestly, I might try to take this whole FCU and put it in here and see if that actually does change anything about the characteristics of the gun. Help accuracy, hurt accuracy, who knows? But I think it would be a good way for everybody to get a good uh, in-depth look at the entire platform and what will happen if you start to really modify these things. Because, like I said, these two guns are highly modified. Uh, obviously this one, I need to jump back into the trigger eventually and start doing what I do. But once that is done, these two will have a ton of stuff done to them. Um, other than that though, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Please don't forget to like, and subscribe. We're really, uh, growing together as a channel. I'm getting a ton of questions. I love helping you guys. So thank you very much for all the support and, uh, I just want to say in another upcoming video, I'm not exactly 100% sure when it's going to come out, but we will be having a very special competition with another kind of compensated upper that's pretty much like a one-off. And that's what I'm going to say. It's not 
It's made for the 320 platform, but it's not anything that you can go to SIG and buy. It's one company makes it. They know exactly what they're doing. And I honestly, I just can't wait to even hold the thing, let alone have it to shoot for a bit and then put it up against this and really see how much of a difference that is. Because what's coming, guys, is just going to be it's going to be amazing. I'll just put it that way. So definitely stay tuned. These videos are going to be uh really taking on a whole new form we're gonna do you know the slow motion stuff everything and i just i can't wait for this competition and then i really cannot wait for that other slide to come you guys are gonna really enjoy it so again thank you very much to everybody remember the saying if you believe you could achieve other than that stay safe and we'll check you later